Hello everybody and welcome to this vlog where I document my trip to Poland. So here's some shots for a airport montage. Always needed in a vlog where you're flying somewhere anyway. Um, yeah. I've been meaning to visit Poland for a while now. Summer was too busy, but finally this September I was able to go and I am going to be seeing two of my very, very good friends. Elena and Rachel. That's Rachel there. Yes, and Elena enjoy is it. there. Um, sorry guys, it's better than Cedars. <laughs> After a good night's sleep, Elena and I headed into town to meet up with Rachel for breakfast. I was staying with Elena for the entire trip. She has a lovely apartment. There she is. <laughs> And um, yeah, we had a nice little walk through Krakow in the morning before meeting Rachel in a beautiful coffee shop for breakfast. Hello. Enjoying this, what do you call this breakfast? It's a uh, wagon breakfast and the lady waiter was thinking that I'm vegan. <laughs> and then I've got the croissant. And yeah, Rachel. It's a typical British breakfast. Yes, but uh, Polish and style. The, yes, Polish style. And I think it tastes even better because because the food here is so good. Mm -hmm. But coffee is just. <laughs> and I got the coffee as well. Nice view, yeah? Yes. This is a really beautiful coffee shop. I'm so glad. We're gonna try cakes later. So, and right now we are heading to the Central Central Square. Mm -hmm. After the lovely breakfast we had, Rachel went to work, and then I was going to get the grand tour from Elena of the beautiful city of Krakow. After that really fun trip to the Museum of Illusions, Elena and I went to visit Rachel's Ukrainian restaurant to try Ukrainian style borscht. I've had borscht for the first time, it's very good, and we have had coffee and breakfast and gone to a fun museum and now we're going for bubble tea, so it's somewhere nice to rest. <laughs> 
On day two, we all met up, went to church, and then we all had a nice walk through, I don't know what part of Krakow it was. Sorry guys, my geography of Krakow was not pretty good at all. But anyway, we were heading towards the Jewish quarters of Krakow, which are a very important part of the city and its history. And we visited the Jewish cemetery. Mm -hmm. And they were taken like away and making like a uh, homestead like, ground, like putting it on the ground so people would walk on it. Mm. So, and you see, this is like the uh, second world war was finished and matches were kicked out. Mm -hmm. So, they tried to kind of put it back mm. somehow to like piece them back yeah. together. Mm -hmm. After visiting the cemetery, we headed towards Hana Sushi, which is a, such a beautiful, beautiful restaurant and with the most amazing sushi I have ever tasted yet. After that amazing meal, we went to this cute little Swedish coffee shop for chocolate milk and pastries. I love how they're playing Abba as well. <laughs> then, Rachel and I headed off to our final event for the evening, a concert put on by Kalush Orchestra. I had never been to a concert before and I was so, so excited. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. <laughs> like, like you are like telling a ghost story. Four. Yep. We were meant to go on a trip to Zakopane, which is a town two hours drive from Krakow, but it would have been an early start in the morning and we were tired, so we decided to take the day to chill. So we went to a mall nearby, just hung around, chilled, like I said just earlier. We looked at some lovely cakes, which we did not eat in the end and went to have McDonald's and Burger King, which we did eat, and that was nice. 
We then did a bit of shoe shopping and went to this nice little lake at sunset and then we went home for to rest for a few hours before getting up at 12 a.m. to get a bus to Warsaw. The next day. <laughs> it's got to be ours. It wasn't our bus. We ended up waiting two and a half more hours before ours actually arrived. And then we were finally on our way, although I only got about half an hour of sleep. But I was awake to see this beautiful mist outside of Warsaw. Look at me, <laughs> barely trying to stay awake. I tell you though, when we got there, I'd never been so glad to see a coffee shop in my life. This saved me. <laughs> Very tired, aren't we, Helen? <laughs> yeah. Night bus is not always a good idea. <laughs> but it means we're here for the whole day, pretty much, so we have lots of time to check out everything. And we've just had coffee and cake, so we're a bit more awake. So off we go. <laughs> This was built. This this was built during the Soviet Union. Yes, and it was kind of you know this Soviet style that uh, it calls neoclassic. Mm -hmm. uh, We had quite a nice day in Warsaw. We mostly just walked around, checked out the nice parts of the old city and the gardens, and saw some really nice architecture as well. We were very tired though after our long journey the night slash early morning before. So we were happy when it was time to get on the train back to Krakow. All too soon it was my final day in Poland. So Len and I headed to the tram where we said our goodbyes and then I went to meet with Rachel to hang out for the day. Oh wow, it looks so cool. <laughs> 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 oh, we, oh, my oh my god, I was like, <laughs> I thought we were gonna go down there. Oh, wow. Wow. After looking at the beautiful town square from a higher viewpoint, we went souvenir shopping. Mm -hmm. Harder than 
It's a beautiful country. We should all everyone should visit Krakow. If you ever come to Poland, visit Krakow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then for lunch, Rachel and I went to this really cute burger place, which Rachel knew about, which had the most amazing burger I have okay. ever tasted, I swear. It was like this mix, beautiful mix of goat's cheese, barbecue sauce and steak. It was just absolutely incredible. After lunch, we then walked around a bit before heading to this special restaurant based on a certain Netflix TV show called The Witcher. This restaurant has its own currency if you're interested in using that. Rachel and I had a look at the menu and decided to order from the menu of elixirs which sounded very mm -hmm. interesting indeed. Wow. <laughs> I've got the recipe for my elixir. So now I've got to check all of the instructions, make sure I do it right, because I don't know what would happen otherwise. <laughs> So this is my youth elixir. Cheers <laughs> to eternal youth. <laughs> We're now going to try, oh, there's bubbles up there. Oh, we are now going to try, well, I'm going to try a Polish pretzel, which is something I must do before I fly home. 